You're watching Terrier Vision. Look around. Look around. Look at those teammates. Look at those guys. Look at those guys. It's not about Indiana faithful. It's about the guy sitting across from you. It's about the guy sitting on your right and on your left. Okay? Out of yourself and into us. Into the team. You do that. We'll walk out of here in good shape. I know how hard you're going to play. I know how solid you're going to be defensively. One play at a time. As Coach Morris said, don't collect mistakes. All right, we might make a couple. Move it along. All right, the next play. Make the next play the right play. That one's done. Can't, make, uh, can't, uh, can't correct that one. We can make the next one right. Let's go have a good morning. Come on, y'all. Yeah! He moved, baby. Eagles will open up in a man-to-man -man defense. John Swinton between the circles with his dribble. Right wing Lee Skinner drives with the right hand, gets by the defender, and finishes with a layup at the rim as he blew by Cameron Baskerville. In on the block now to Baskerville, turns, and his shot is blocked by Justin Gordon. Good start for the freshman in his first career start. Now Swinton wants to drive all the way to the rim, scores, and he's fouled. Three-point play opportunity for John Swinton as he goes hard to the basket coast to coast. Swinton between the circles, pass to the right wing to Gordon, gets by his man on the overplay, and he jams with the right hand. Timeout, Georgia Southern. Justin Gordon explodes to the basket, and that was all about the pass and a little bit of poor defense there by Ferguson, who overplayed it. Bainham spins to his right, bottled up by Smith, ball out of his hands, a steal. Outlet down the floor to Cochran, hangs in the air, hits a little floater with the left hand off the window. Good job by Carl Cochran. Top of the key, Gordon hits Collins, driving right side of the lane, scores off the window. He's fouled a three-point play opportunity for Spencer Collins. Right wing, Skinner thought about a three, right corner, Bird. Bird up top, Swinton, left wing, Cochran. He'll try another three ball, and this one is good. Hook pass left wing, now to Faithful, drives into the lane, kicks it right corner, Bird. Had trouble squaring up the shot against Roberts. Up top, Skinner, left wing, Wagner. Wagner, right wing, Faithful. Good look at a three, left-handed and good. Cochran, high left side, lobs it left corner, Newman. Return on the wing to Cochran. He'll try a three, and it's good. Indy Faithful into the front court with a low dribble between his legs. Now he goes high left side, Skinner. We're at 15 seconds for Skinner. He's about 30 feet away, dead ahead. High right side, Collins. We're down to 10. Hands off high right side, now to Faithful with eight. Right side high, it's Skinner. Terrier's not penetrating. We're down to four. Skinner drives into the lane, puts up a runner, and he hits it as the buzzer goes. A floater with the right hand by Skinner to close out the first half. 18.48 to play, Skinner high left side down to Cochran, circles right with his dribble, pull up three pointer, back iron, he missed, rebound Skinner and he sticks it back. Right wing Jarrell Bird up top Skinner, high left side with a chest pass to Cochran, slides right with his dribble, pull up 17 footer is good. Carl Cochran's got 17 as he pulls up off a hard right handed dribble. Reed who has just three points thus far in the ball game, drives with with the right hand gets by Bird, but Bird comes from behind, blocks the shot, and then Reed is called for an offensive foul as he ran into Carl Cochran. Guarded by Faithful, 30 feet away, this pass is knocked away, a steal for Skinner. He's gonna drive all the way and lay it in. Lee Skinner with a steal and a bucket. Bird guarded there by Holmes, walks it back out front with a left-handed dribble. Right wing Cochran, catch and shoot, three is good. Carl Cochran feeling it tonight, folks. He didn't start, but he is looking to finish. Right elbow air, Smith hands it back off to Swinton, who almost traveled as he stumbled. Left wing Cochran, he'll let go with another three, and it's good. Wow. All you can say is wow. team in this locker room uh, felt as though they had a lot more on the line right there than, uh, than that other team. And um, Lee Skinner, your, your hustle plays and your, your juice is just a sight to behold. And I, I love it. Yeah. Uh, Justin Gordon. Yeah, Justin yeah. Gordon. Fantastic job. Understand why we don't want that foul. We don't want them to score with the clock stopped. And that's your fifth foul, okay? And you don't want one of those. You don't want to charge. You don't want something over the uh, over the back. But the left hand jump hook, a number of other plays, your energy and uh, 
you know, relentless pursuit of uh, the thing was uh, was was really impressive. Uh, great job from uh, John in Indiana. Um, you know, enjoy it uh, tonight. Take care of yourselves. Uh, we'll shoot you a text about tomorrow. Next game. It is the next game, right? Furman, right? Furman. That's the next one. Let's go down there and play a better basketball game, okay? We're joined by Terrier Ford, Lee Skinner, a sophomore. Nice effort tonight, double-double. 17 points, 12 rebounds. And, Lee, I've got to ask you this. I want you to talk a little about the defensive effort. Eric Ferguson comes into the game. Uh, he is sitting at sixth in the conference in scoring, second in rebounding. You held him to six points tonight. So talk about the, the, the job the defense did, especially in the low post this evening. Uh, you know, we knew came, coming into this game, Eric Ferguson's a great player, one of the best in our uh, in our conference. Um, definitely uh, had to be aware of him. Uh, we had we had great digs uh, down low from the guards. We had great help. help um, kept him off the glass. We knew that he averages well, over 10, 10 rebounds a game. So we knew uh, in order to keep him under his average, uh, we had to keep him off the glass as well. So we just executed the game plan. So. Yep. Lee, you talk about the glass, and you guys get them by 12 on the glass and by 7 on the offensive glass. Seemed like just you guys were relentless in that area tonight. Yeah, um, in practice, uh, you know, we had uh, higher energy levels this week. Uh, coming off three losses, we had a little bit more on the line. Um, we knew if we kept, won the battle on the glass that it would give us a great chance to win the game. Did the app game get under your guys' skin? Definitely. Uh, we, we came out uh, on edge, uh, a little chippy. That's what we need to do every game, every practice, day in, day out. Well, these guys will give you everything they have. Um, another really nice job uh, defensively. Um, they shot at a little better clip than I thought they did. Um, you know, for whatever reason, we found ourselves in a, in a, in a rut uh, offensively. Uh, didn't have, you know, the pop and, you know, and shot selection and all that. But if you weren't playing, you know, with your, with your uh, you know, blowing your pipes out uh, and cutting the score and screening uh, effectively as we did tonight, you know, you can make it hard for yourself. And we did that a little bit. You know, I mean, had we played like that offensively uh, Tuesday night, I mean, my stars. Uh, and it certainly helps uh, to see the ball get in the bottom of the barrel a couple of times. Coach, uh, ball off the floor, a lot more passing tonight and yeah. not as much dribbling. Yeah, kind of looked like a basketball team and not, uh, you know, an imposter. Um, you know, I, you know. You, you get into some you know, situations where uh, you kind of lose sight of what, what, what's effective. And um, again, it's a long year and you go on the road at UVA, you go on the road at Tulane, you come back here and you're back on your heels a little bit. And um, you know, you're sideways and now you've got, uh, you got a problem. But uh, great practices, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, great preparation leading up here. And uh, we'll look forward to going down to Greenville on Monday. Justin Gordon. Justin uh, Gordon's going to be really good. He got a start tonight. And yeah. He brings some energy for you. Yeah, he does. He's long, and he moves his feet. And um, he's really a smart player, uh, really well coached in high school. Uh, he's going to be a really good basketball player for our team uh, and is bringing a lot to the table right now uh, with an expanded role. and. Playing with uh, playing with Skinner, uh, very pleased with his progress. And finally, you're, uh, Skinner tonight double double, 17 and 12, and, and the defensive effort he had against Ferguson, especially. Uh, it, you know, we all knew without saying it what we had on the line here, and um, I thought Lee Skinner uh, and our team played, uh, you know, like there was a lot on the line. There was, and they played that way, and they played with a reckless and a relentless uh, passion for, you know, uh, winning. Uh, just win the game. And they uh, they did that, and they have a chance to enjoy for a couple hours. <laughs> and we'll turn our attention to those guys down there uh, tomorrow. All right, thanks.